Hello guys and welcome back. So here you can see that Rincewind is calmly going off on his merry little way back into um, the L space. Uh, I'm not quite sure what we did wrong because we were holding the glass up to the to the drain pipe, but I don't I don't really know. I don't really know what went on there. So we need to wait for the guy again. And then we need to go over to the bookshelf. Or do we? Do we need to do that? Can we not just go? I don't know. I want to wait for him and then he goes. Because if there's something in the... Maybe there's something in the pipe? I don't know. Okay, so, book. Right, okay. So, hide out, quickly rinse wind, quickly. Because I want you to go to... Where's my thing? Right, okay. Maybe that was the reason why we got it wrong. So just got the glass ready now. Oh, here we go. Hopefully this is um the reason why now. Doorkeeper. Doorkeeper. Keeper. Keeper. Purr. Purr. Well, I don't have to open it to just anybody who turns up. You could be a spy. You could be a spy, mate. You could be a spy. A spy. A spy. It's a possibility. You could be a very clever Can we not speed this up? Normal conversations don't happen like this with a very long break in between them. Open the blasted door. And I can't seem to to speed you up. What's the password? Right, here we go. Maybe we've got a bit of luck. Alright. Lean closer. If it says high string again, I'm not gonna be Aha! Uh -huh! Yeah, that's a great password. Right. That's a great password. No. What? You didn't say Simon says. <laughs> well, there we go. Open the door or I'll kill you. Da, the other password. Come on then, in you go, in you go, in you go. We ain't got time for this shit. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Right, let's put the robe on. No, I did not want to do that. Hey, brother doorkeeper. I just think that's so cute. He tells him off. Oh. Mm, hello. I'm hello. Hail. Hail. Yes, hail. Hail, brother doorkeeper. Yes. Right, give me the password and I'll let you in. Uh, spoonfish, spoonfish, spoonfish. Oh, ah, it's blah 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 spoons blah 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 swordfish blah blah blah. Right, right. Hey. You didn't say Simon's. Oh. Okay. Welcome, oh father, oh brother of the elucidated blah blah blah. I couldn't even keep up with him. Why does pot like part of the thing go off? All right, in we are then. Oh, that's that Chucky person from the palace. I don't know who that one is. Oh, that's the that's the palace person anyway. I don't know about him. Don't know about him either. Yay, right. Hi That's the fishmonger. Once again, the elucidated brethren of the sword are met. And once again, we shall weave the webs of power. Oh. We know now that it is our destiny to rule this city. Ooh, 
Chucky, Chucky, Chucky. <laughs> he disappeared. <laughs> yes. Once I thought it was my destiny to build a pumpkin mashy dinosaur in my bedroom. Then I thought it was my destiny to win the men's overland saxophone. Saxophone championships. Now, well, I know. Now I know. I finally know my dream. To rule and Kmopok. A marine company with these, my loyal lack of the loyal comrades. A new age shall dawn. It shall dawn. Dawn. An age of power and majesty. Oh. An age of freedom. Without indoor plumbing and the job lock Is that the chip the the Um oh, what's his name? A world where a man can carry out his legitimate wealth redistribution business without worrying about quotas. Hail. Hmm. Where cheap replastering will be outlawed in favour of major structural reinforcement. Is that the chimney person? No mackerel silos will be a thing of the past. And compulsory smoke-through cleanliness will be rigorously enforced. Hail! Rigorously enforced. Brother Brigwit, Brother Broom, bring the tomb. Now, for the spell of power, Brother, Brother... Uh, pencil head. Uh -huh. Oh, dark spirits of the universe, with this bowl, we do consecrate and, uh, and so forth. Except now these sacrifices as we consign the potion to the flames. Bring us the power of the dragon. Of the dragon. Yes. See, I told you. I told you we were reenacting the first scene. Yeah, definitely. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Is this going to be the end of Act 2 then? Oh, that's not good, is it? So do I have to tell the the dragon now? Okay. So I can go back to my hole. Do I then have to go and tell the dragon? Do I? I'm not too sure. I don't know if I've got to tell the dragon or not. Because the last time I tried talking to the dragon, he said about something about flames. So I don't really know what's going on there. Yes, we're aware that he returns to the present. Well done. I think the only thing that, time that they should ever show you this is if you've done something wrong. See, like, you could have done. Like, the books are there. I don't understand. <sighs> it would be nice if the books were there. Okay. Let's come out and then we'll try and talk to the dragon, I guess. Or did he? I don't know. Because what was our initial objective? Did we need to just... I don't know. We'll talk to the dragon and have a look. Come on. Right. Where's the dragon? Barn. So, can we talk to you and say, all right, we found them all? Um, I'd rather not. Right, so you can't talk to him. Okay. Okay. Right, so we'll leave it there for the time being. And in the next episode, we'll come back and we'll hopefully know what to do. So thank you so much for joining us today. And we will see you 
in the next episode of the glorious Discworld. <laughs>